again for another Gaming Friday. So today we are going to play uh, Wormspan put out by Stone Mary Games. Now Wormspan is designed by Connie Vogelman who designed Apiary, which I still want to play. Uh, and it was developed by Elizabeth Hargrave who developed the original Wingspan. Now, if you've talked to me, you know I have much disdain for Wingspan. I do not like it. Uh, I find it way too random, uh, and it's just not a very fun game for me to play. So I like dragons way better than birds. So uh, Mike had Wormspan. We're gonna give it a, a, a playthrough, and uh, a friend, Chris from Tabletop Top Express, is gonna come by and play with us. Uh, Wormspan is a one to five player tableau building game. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I mean, Stone Mayor Games puts out some nice stuff. Yeah, the components are really, really great. Um, what, if you've played Wingspan before, I don't love Wingspan, but I enjoy Wingspan. But one of my biggest issues that I have with it is some of the, uh, the actions and certain things. It's just not a great strategy game for a gamer. This seems to correct some of that, and I'd love to see some of the comparisons. That's what I've heard, and that's why I want to play this, um, because I couldn't even get through one game of Wingspan, because I thought it was just way too random, uh, too reliant on certain aspects of the game, and uh, just a way to just build up certain points by playing easy bird sets and it, it's well not only that your last round of the game it's usually more beneficial to eggs 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 yeah not my thing so anyway we're gonna set the game up we're gonna take a look at it we're gonna play it and then we'll come back and give you i'll give you my thoughts and see if this is something that i would play again or just throw it in the trash along with Wingspan. And I'll give you my opinion, because I usually pretty much enjoy anything. Here's the other thing that I like about this too. It's not only the six coins, you get six coins and one egg as your income. Yes, you're always gonna Also, get these six cards refresh at the start of every round. Okay, this so if you take standard. cards off of it, do they automatically refresh? They automatically refresh. Automatically. Okay, but you, they do. They all get burned and new cards. At the end of the yeah, round. at the so end, if you like a card there, you better damn well take it because yeah. it's gonna be. You gone. better get it because it's not gonna be there next round. It's yeah. Gone. I so love that. Because the, the, the only spin really, deck is like this big. You never get, you go through yeah. like this much. The only really way to get cards is to is to move your guy to the Golden Grotto to get a Correct. card, right? All right. Card uh, that is, or as you put things if, down, if you give you the uh, yeah. You build a, you can build okay. a system for it. Yeah. Yeah. Who goes uh, first? I gave it to Chris first. Give it okay, to me first. first. Okay, I think I'm gonna do. Oh, I gotta take. I, I do have to take. I apologize. Three resources. So, oh, oh, yeah. I yeah. Took my, Make sure I, I took, took my resources. resources. I took I'm I gonna these. take a my... milk. I think a milk, a meat, and one of these. Okay. All right. So my first action. Where did I put my guy? What's he doing hanging out over there? Um, I think my first action is. Ooh, I like. Uh, I think my first action is actually going to be the... Oh, can I swap them up? Yeah, this is a nice dark like that. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I think what I am first going to do is I am actually going to let... Now, keep in mind, these are free spots for yeah. to start the game. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm actually going to go... And this, you pay, it's as, as it says. To excavate, to put mm -hmm. a... Uh, cave card there, yep. yeah, yeah, but not for putting a uh, 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 enticing a dragon. And yeah, there. so I'm actually going to go ahead with the my uh, excavate action. I'm actually going to start by putting one down and nice. expanding out. So let's play my coin. No, that's no, that's one. actually my. You just explorer. put yeah. it in. The I just got to put it in. So we're going to put this right down here. That's going to gain me a meat, additional meat. I'm also going to get a card. And this is what you paid, right? Yes. Yeah, just chuck it in there. Chuck it away. Or just chuck it in. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I'm yeah. just chucking them in the bin. Can I get that dragon with that's just the meat cost, I believe, there? This? In the middle? Yeah. That's meat and gold. Right? Meat and gold, that's fine. This one is just gold for the uh, that's, middle guy. That's fine. I'm going to take the meat and the gold. So that will be my action. 
And then I get, and then because I got my meat and I got my card, so perfect. All right, I am actually going to entice, so I'm going to spend the one, and I am going to pay a meat and a crystal, and I am going to entice this watchful wyvern. Does it have to be? Don't you have to have a cave first? You this this first, first row is row all is already, you already have caves. Oh. So you see how there's like a little outline here? Yeah. There's no outline in the first oh, one. Oh, I was looking here. So they, oh. make it, they made it so that your first action to entice a dragon is free. Yep. Other than just the cost of your action and the, the food that it wants. Yep. But you don't have to excavate oh, it first. You only God. have to excavate the second and on. Yep. So I, I he goes into here. And then when played, I get two gold and then each of you get one. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Gold. Thank you. That's incredibly helpful, actually. Well, Alright, I'm going to, uh... Now, uh, tucking dragons under dragon cards, it's a, it's one point at the end? One point at the, it's one point at the end, but it does also some, based on your cards, you may get more points. Correct. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, um, hmm, I think I am going to, Ooh, excuse me. damn, that's a lot I want to do. The only thing that was not necessary with this, with this game was the book of the dragon lore, though I didn't mind it. Oh my god, I, yeah. It, it was not necessary, I enjoyed it, but it was not necessary. Here, here was the, I am going I to like uh, entice it, my dragon. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, but... I love the fact that it has <laughs> the, the cost. But, uh, yes. What I don't like... He just goes here, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, and I can uh, draw... Well, he only can go on the here. Why? Because he's got oh, the... Oh, yeah. he's the middle. He's oh, the middle one. I didn't notice that. I didn't realize that. Why did they tell me which habitat, its right. size, its cost, its nest, its trait, but then not tell me the... I uh, yeah. That that makes no sense. Don't give me a blurb about made up diddly doodly boo, because I don't care about that. I want. Give me to, what it does. Make it a guide. Because what if one of these I don't understand? Yeah, make well, it a guide. Make this a guide. Because then, uh, then it would have been a perfect. All right. I paid my oh, thing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, excavate instead. I'm gonna excavate that right there, so I gain get some good stuff. Gold Ooh. And one of those. Awesome. Okay. All right. On my turn, we are going to entice on my end. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to entice. So I will pay. I'm going to entice a bellicose fire vern to join me. Uh, that one costs me a meat and a gold, so thank you for that gold earlier. You are welcome. Uh, I can place... I can pay one resource, by the way, on this one once I run the action uh, on a future uh, explore action. I can, I'll be able to pay one resource to draw three cards from the deck, keep one, discard one, and tuck one. Nice. Pretty cool that's action. That's the... Um... Bellicose, Bellicose Fire. Oh, that's it during your income phase. During my income phase, yes. Nice. That's, that's cool. why I'm sharing. I want to make sure everyone knows during that's the income cool. phase I get a nice little... Mm-hmm. All right. A nice I little bump. I am going to... Pay a coin, and I am going to excavate a cave. Choosing which cave is uh, going to be a little confusing here, but I think I'm going to go with this one up here. Uh, I gain a cave card and lay two eggs. So oh, that's a nice action. That is. I'm going to get. You don't have the spot for it, but he actually does. That one there. Now, when you lay two eggs, you can put them on the dragons that yes. have the same. Yeah, they okay. can go on dragons, and or you always have two spaces here, board, yeah. Yeah. Okay. which are like in your. You're definitely going to want some that can hold some more eggs at some point. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. And this one goes out. Oh, gain meat and a gold. That is nice. Um, and I have to lay my two eggs. So I'm going to take a green and a purple one. Um, and, 
Okay, so uh, I am going to pay one and entice, and I am going to entice this guy right here uh, at the cost of a meat and a gold. And uh, at during my income, I gain a milk and I can cash it on Tandy Dragon. Oh, nice. That's pretty nice. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, because I really want to be able to get over to this, is I think I might actually do, and actually, I apologize, when I had done this before, I, no, I had not explored yet. Um, <laughs> I, I was thinking I had explored because I think I was thinking about exploring, but we're going to do that eventually. I think what I'm going to do instead is, I think I'm going to entice again. Uh, so what I'm going to do for Entice is I'm going to play the Melodious Fire Dragon. It is a hatchling, which I like. Uh, the Melodious Fire Dragon is pretty cool. It costs a milk and an egg. So that's my egg. Oh no! And then, but now at least when I can explore, I'll be able to get two resources that's of my nice. choice and a guild action. That's nice. Uh, I'm going to entice as well. Um, my dragon eats a coin and a gem. So I've got to pay the two coins. And the starlet shepherd is going down here. And now when I explore there, I can pay a cave card to lay two eggs in this cave. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so I am going to actually... Pay one and take an explore action. So I get. So I move down the track. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, so the first I, thing you I get, get is a card. So a it doesn't have to be one of these three. I know. I want this one. <laughs> uh, now I go here, right, and I gain a uh, a dragon guild card. So I'm gonna move over to that and take an egg. Yep. Then uh, I'm gonna move over here, and no. I. Get, uh, yes, right. Yes, because, because my stop sign's there. The stop sign is. Yeah, the st that is his. He yes, has no so stop sign stopping him. I now get a, another dragon card. By what? Oh, no, because the I thought these were supposed to be. No, these go here. These show Those the cover stop the stop sign. They cover the. Yes. Yeah. They cover the stop sign. That's yeah. how I read it as well. I see, because there's a line in the center. So I thought it went in the center. No, that's, no, that's, that's your regular. You know, because that's the regular card. Because if you look. Look at this. If you go, oh, maybe that's oh, my no, question. You're, yeah, no, you're right. right. You're right. No, you're right. I don't you get on a red card. You are right because it's right here. Stop the dragons, great. the dragons cover. The dragons are cover. the dragons are going to cover. Yeah, because we're, that's why I took this action. It was the whole purpose. If you want to roll back so that you could do the other, I'm if you want to rethink that one, yeah. I haven't even looked. At um, this again. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. All right, so my action is going to be, let's see, uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually, what spot do I want to do? I think it's going to be here. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take the excavate action. I'm going to place this right here. This is going to gain me a crystal and also lay two eggs. Which, for now, I'm just going to pop over here. That's my turn. I am going to... I'm going to excavate, so I'm going to pay one, and I get a cave card and a drag, dragon guild move, so Not bad. one egg can go there, and one cave card. Oh. Whoa! Lay three eggs. Wow! It's nice. 
Is that the one that just went out? Yeah. Is that the last spot? Which spot was it? Right okay. Oh, right in the middle. I always see it. Sorry, I was looking at the dragons, but yeah, that, that's a nice one. Unfortunately, I don't it's know. It's going away. It's soon. going away. So. <laughs> Mm. One, two. I have two more moves. One. I have three. I have three. Oh wow! Yeah, because you used less. Uh... So I thought three. I basically. Yeah, I, I have a choice to go. Yeah. Which I probably will. But. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm paying the gold. I'm traveling. I want this game. Yeah, you do want that. Yeah. With, with your moves, you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is also compared to Wingspan. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> I shuffled that. I was shuffling the crap out of it. If another one comes out, then we're in trouble and we'll reshuffle it again. I'm not going to be able to play it, but I'm really tempted to forego what I was planning on doing and just get that. Because that three up, straight up eggs is going to be good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is... Oh yeah, and he's going to be able to play it this turn too. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I'm not going to win the eggs. I'm going to be last on eggs. It's not even a I'm going to be first on eggs. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be last. I'm not even going to try to win eggs, but for future, I'm more looking at what else is there. Um, no, but that's so valuable. God. That's not my most valuable track though. And I'm going to stay on my game and not freak out. I'm going to be able to get eggs. <laughs> I'm going to be able to get eggs. I'm going to go what I was going to do. I'm going to explore. So I'm going to gain a resource. Let's be resource strong, yeah. if anything, you know. Uh, gain a resource. Let's. Uh, I can get anything. So let's get myself a golden nugget here. Then this is a in-between rounds. So yeah. that's not going to do anything. We're going to move here, get which you gets me an egg. So I'll take that egg. That's great. Uh, then I'm going to go here. I could tuck a card from my hander, which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to tuck this guy. Yep. And, and then you get another food. Yeah. And then I go over here and get another one. Let's mix it up a little bit. We got a little bit of everything. May as well take the milk, too, while we're at it. Might as well. Play strong. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go here. And so cave card. Bingo, bingo. And then Dragon Guild, which gets you meat. Which gets me meat. Yeah. And a friendly run, of course. You can but before convert. that, this dragon, oh, yeah, that's I right. get to pay a card to lay two. Uh, I'm going to pay this. So I have one of each. I get to draw three cards. So take it from the left pile. Three. Oh, now it's the income? Yeah. Okay. So I can... So I get a milk, and I can cash onto any dragon. Uh, I also get to take a draw card and tuck it here. Now nice. you can tuck as many cards as you want, right? Yeah. It's just extra points at the end of the game. Yeah. So that's three extra points at the end of the game. Nice. All right. So. Um, and then mine was pay, which I did, to draw three, keep one, discard one, and tuck one. Oh, uh, nice. So I'm going to discard this this big boy right here, but I'm going to tuck this one. And then we're going to wipe these cards from existence. I could go into every round knowing I can have something as long as I have resources. Um, That's what I like. Two, three. Looking and two milk. I think I've built a tuck system. What do you mean? Meat know? and an egg. <laughs> Meat and an egg. Uh, does this pass each turn? That'll go, you'll be first, yeah. Okay, don't, don't forget. Yeah, I get six. Six coins and one egg. Yeah, don't forget that one egg. Like, if that's the other thing I like, is you're always getting. Yeah, because in Wingspan, you'd have to waste a whole turn just to be one able to get the stuff that you need to pay so for the other thing. what do we get? We get... And then you'd waste the turn to get the food from yeah, the Yeah, and actually, unfortunately, thing. I can only get to take one. Because I didn't get another one out. Egg. And that hatchling don't do jack for me. Okay. Ooh, I have the space for it. I'll take my... Ooh, I want yeah. that white. Yeah, I do not have the space. We're going to get some dragons out. And that coin goes with it. I need more dragon cards. That's what I need. Yeah. I need them pretty badly here. 
Okay, so that was a uh, worm span from uh, Stonemeyer Games, designed by Connie Vogelman. Also, the apiary. I want to play it. I keep saying that because Mike's supposed to bring it by. I will. <laughs> so uh, I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Um, way more than uh, Wingspan. Uh, Chris from Tabletop Express came by to play it. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm happy that I did get to play it. It's probably going to be on my to own list. Yeah. So um, I know Chris is actually going to come by and teach it to me tomorrow, but we decided to uh, get it done. To get it done quicker. So and Mike had it, so he's like, "I'll bring worms, and we'll play it." So. I, I did enjoy it. Um, once it clicked, I thought it was a, a good, enjoyable game. Way better than... I can't say it enough how much better it, was, <laughs> it is than Wingspan. It just... There's purpose. You do have purpose. Once you find out your purpose of t making your actions, it's... You, you have a path. Yeah. Once the light bulb clicks in your head <laughs> and you go, Oh! Oh! Quite yeah, literally. Just when he yeah, literally. It, it happens. It was yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, at one point, because I figured out, I'm like, okay, I know exactly what I have to do. So it. It was. It, no, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I had turns, and I've had turns in Wingspan where I've gotten either uh, poor card draws or no chance to get cards or all the bird feeders doesn't have the stuff that I want so now I can't play the thing I want. I never got to a spot in this where I was like, oh, I can't do what I want because I don't have something. I'm like, oh sweet, I can just do this. This is awesome. Um, I loved it. There's, there's three actions to take. It was simple. The coins instead of the cubes as actions so your actions aren't diminishing over time uh, everything about it just was so much better than wingspan and i've played this solo and it plays really well solo so i can speak to that i just i think it moves really swiftly so i got a sense of that then but i will note having played it with a, a group now and, and now having played it a few times what you just said echoes for me there's not one of those moments where it's like oh, i guess i'll just put some eggs down which is happening in wingspan all, all the time. The time. All right, the I guess all my eggs. But yeah. every action, it, you never felt like you didn't have an action. In fact, you were trying to get more actions by trying to get more coins at the end of the game mm -hmm. so you could do a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, I even had an awesome term where I went excavate, uh, I went exploring, and mid explore got me the ability to place a dragon down. Which extended my uh, explore action, which was hysterical. It was amazing because yeah. I thought, like, oh, well, this one's done. I guess, oh, no, yeah. wait, I can still keep going. This is so cool. Uh, I loved it. I thought that was so awesome. Yeah, I, I really like what happened as the game progresses is that you start really building your engine just to get, all right, I can get just this one more point. But do I want this one more point or I want this extra coin which can give me an extra turn to get me maybe two more points? Oh, yeah. but wait, if I do this one other thing in the turn, if I play it in the right order, not only can I get that extra turn, get those extra two more points, but maybe get something else to get more resources or to either tuck a dragon under your cards or um, put a... Uh, an item on top of yeah. you there's just you uh, toward the game only is only four rounds but as like after round i think halfway between round two i think the strategy ramps up oh yes so yeah. it's like a rocket ship you're like oh my all right i can do this and i can do this and i can do this you're laying foundation in the first round round yeah. and a half mm -hmm. uh, and once that foundation foundation is laid it's opportunities open and I still think it's flexible enough that he could go one way or another mm -hmm. at that point but mm -hmm. I think in the, the last two rounds you yeah. really by that point have to be focused on some, some game plan well the but setup the, in this also really helps you be able to build that foundation much easier than yeah. uh, than others uh, yeah no you're right the when we got to turn four or three, mm -hmm. we all extended turn three at least two or three. Yeah, extra we turns. were doing a lot. Like both of you, I, I, was out, I was out. out early on in round yeah. three because I was trying to build up for round four to make that big push. So I was kind of setting up. I'm like, I, I wish I would have had. I also really should have played a different bonus. 
what would got me the extra coin because I kind of made yeah. the wrong move, but it was all fine by the time I realized that I was able to. That's one thing. If you make certain mistakes in the game, it's not punishing where it's like, I can't catch up. I can't yeah. do this. Um, it, it was it was really enjoyable. I think every turn that I made had meaning in, in the game. But you can't say about every game, that's for sure. No, not all the time. Sometimes you just get screwed. And there's nothing you can do. I mean, I will say that that one... If I could make one complaint, that would be the, um, and this is really just on me, the deck of cards is so large, trying to split it to actually evenly uh, shuffle it. I, I feel like whatever I did, shuffled it really well, and then unshuffled it back into some yeah. original order, because there were pockets that were well shuffled, and other pockets that were just like... Yeah, I had, I had a lot of just like yellow dragon, yellow dragon, yellow dragon cards. It was really hard, but it really didn't matter because I was just tucking them under my other dragon. For, yeah. So it didn't really matter that I kept getting them, but I'm like, oh my god, you shuffled this terrible. <laughs> it was awful. But I, I will. The one thing I will just note, I think, is the card, the card piece. There's a ton of them. There's enough. And, and when I compare this game, I compare it to Wingspan, but I mm -hmm. not not Wingspan with European. It's just Wings Wingspan versus Wormspan. And the comparison, when it comes down to it, is from a base experience, this game is superior. Oh, well. Yeah, it's well, so good. So yeah. definitely, if you didn't like Worms, well, if you didn't like Wingspan, like me, I thought it was awful and boring, uh, definitely check out uh, Wormspan. It is a lot more fun. It's a lot more enjoyable. It is definitely a different game, but uh, I think you'd probably enjoy it uh, a lot more. And if you like Wingspan, you'll love this. I mean, and if you love dragons, then, you know, that's all the more better, too. All right, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe and the notification bell. you get notified any time I upload a video. Questions or comments, feel free to post them below. I'll go back to you as soon as possible. Definitely check out Tabletop Express. That link below is as well. Uh, so click on that and check him out. Otherwise, talk to you later.